Well, hello everybody. Nice to see you here. Hope you had a great week. We had a pretty awesome week as well. We got to hit the beach, look for some more sea glass. We also went to the zoo and saw some of our favorite animals. But that's not why you're here. You're here because it must be Friday. And you wanna know about the Sony AX53. Let's go. Welcome back. My name is Brian and I'm with Three Princess Productions. Starting this week, we're gonna give you videos that give you product reviews, tips and tricks, and other information that will help you level up your videos. These videos will be coming out on Friday. So if you're new to our channel, consider clicking that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So let's talk about the Sony AX53. This camera is a 4K beast and it's a great all-in-one solution. So if you're not ready to take out that second mortgage on a house for a DSLR, this might be the camera you wanna choose. If you wanted all these features out of a DSLR, your starting point is probably gonna be about $1,500, with some ranging as high as three, six, or even $10,000 to get some of the features that this camera offers to you. So let me answer this, who's this camera for? This camera is great for new YouTubers, someone who wants a solid camera for family videos. If you wanna upgrade from that GoPro, or you don't wanna mess around buying a whole bunch of different lenses for a DSLR. We've been using this camera for over a year. We found that it is the best 4K camera, and it's under $1,000. At the time of this video, this camera sells in the US for about $850. I've put several links to Amazon in the video description below, which include the camera and several bundles that I highly recommend. Please note that these are affiliate links and by using them, you do help support our channel. This camcorder offers 4K resolution at 24 frames a second and 30 frames a second. It can also do 1080p in 24, 30, 60, and even 120 frames per second. If you're not sure about the difference between frame rates and when to use them, don't worry. I will cover them in a later video. Real quick summary, you wanna use 60 and 120 when you wanna film some in slow motion, like in this clip right here. For live action, 24 frames is really where you should be. To access the 120 frames per second, you have to be in the 1080p mode. Then you go to menu, click on shoot mode, and then select the high speed record. When recording in 4K, you will have the option of recording in 100 megabits per second or 60 megabits per second. When in 1080p, you only have the option of 50. One of the things I love about the Sony AX53 is you can leave a lot of the settings in auto and it will just take great video without having to mess around with a whole bunch of settings. The only setting that I usually choose to change is the shutter speed setting. I typically like to use the 180 method, which means when using different frame rates, you wanna double the shutter speed based on the frame rate that you're set at. So for example, if I'm shooting in 24 frames a second, I like to double it to 48 frames per second. When shooting in 30 frames per second, you should have your shutter speed at 60. And when it's 60, 120. And then on this camera, when you're shooting 120, you wanna be using your shutter speed at 250. To access the shutter speed, you have two options. First, you can jump into the menu, select camera slash mic, go to page two, and select the shutter speed. Option two is to use the super convenient manual ring button. When you hold this down, it gives you the option to set the front ring for some of the more frequently used features like zoom, focus, exposure, iris, shutter speed, AE shift, and white balance shift. Typically I'll use this for the zoom, focus, and shutter speed. I usually leave everything else the same. Once you have selected the shutter speed, you can turn the ring and it will change your shutter speed quickly. Very convenient when you're looking to change your frame rates and your shutter speed very quickly. The Sony AX53 also comes with a three inch extra fine LCD touchscreen. This screen is very responsive. It's a good size. You can even flip it front facing, which is really convenient if you wanna use this camera as a vlogging camera. Speaking of vlogging, this camera also has a built-in balance optical steady shot image stabilizer. 
You can see from this example, when I shake the camera, the lens inside kind of floats. This is to help give you a steadier shot. I will typically attach a mini tripod like this one to the camera to give it extra support and make it easier for that run and gun shooting. I really like the autofocus on this camera. Sony calls this their fast, intelligent autofocus. Watch how quickly and responsive this camera can focus on different objects. Also, Sony's given us a 20 times optical zoom, which can get in really tight to your subject, or you could even use the 250 time digital zoom for a super zoom feature. The downside to this digital zoom is the quality of the video though. It does start to break down a little because it is digitally trying to enhance the video quality. Also, this camera is great for low light. It's got this low light lux, which will help bring up your exposure in low light. It also has an infrared setting, which gives you that really great video when it's pretty much pitch black. Now let's talk about the recording options. The Sony AX53 can record MP4 or AVC HD. Typically you're gonna find that you're gonna be recording in the MP4 format, which is better for YouTube anyway. The AVC HD is when you're typically doing those family videos that you wanna to burn to a DVD or Blu-ray disc. Also, this camera does take still photos. It uses a 16.1 megapixel camera. This allows you to take 4K time-lapse up to 300 shots. Unfortunately, it does not piece it together in camera. This is something that you'll have to do in post to get those nice time-lapse videos. Let's talk about audio. When recording a 4K, or 1080p using the MP4 format, you'll have a two channel audio, which is actually really good. When recording in 1080p using the AVC HD format, you're gonna have that 5.1 Dolby digital surround sound. The audio that comes out of the camera is actually pretty good, but I usually like to attach a shotgun microphone, like this one right here, the Rode Video Mic. It's very simple to set up. You throw it in this hot chute right up here, and then you run the cord down to the audio jack. And this does help improve and give you that professional video sound. This camera also comes with a headphone jack, which is located right here. So you can listen to the audio while you're recording the video. The Sony AX53 also comes with an HDMI out port and the appropriate HDMI cord so you can hook it right into your TV. Simply plug the cable into the HDMI out port, run the other end to your TV, and now you can watch all your videos straight from your camcorder. This camera does run on an SD card. I do recommend picking up either a 64, a 128, or like I have right here, a 256 gig SDXC card. I'll link the appropriate cards down in the description as well. So make sure you check out those links and compare prices. So there you have it. The camera I believe to be the best 4K camera for under $1,000. If you're interested in picking up this camera, I've included links to Amazon in the video description below. Using these links does not cost you anything additional, but it does help support our channel so we can provide you more content just like this. Question of the day, what camera or camcorder do you use to make YouTube videos? Make sure you leave your answers in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting that big red button down below and make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Until then, if you wanna see another video from this series, click or tap the screen right here. To see another video from our channel, click right here. Again, my name is Brian and I'm with Three Princess Productions and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.